This is the Jenny Wynn reading that I am using for this session of Tarot Spills the Tea Confirmed. All right, the confirmation of who Jenny Wynn from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. The way this is going to work is we are going to listen to some of the previous reading and I am going to stop, pause, and tell you the confirmation. So, fresh out of the box, baby. Death. Okay? Death and death was upright. She had a mixture of upright and reversed. But this death card was upright right and in the past and it says the past needs to be placed behind you so you can focus your energy on what is ahead of you okay now let me say this with this confirmation it gets bigger the further along we go okay the further along we go the bigger the confirmation so I hope you guys are ready. Hope you already grabbed your popcorn so you can listen to me break this down. So as it says that she needs to focus her energy on what's ahead of her, I think that's obvious. Now, it's obvious to her. It was not obvious to us as viewers because remember what I did was asked why did she decide to join the cast of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, okay? And the very first one out of the gate is talking about she needs to let go of her past and so that she can prepare for what's coming to her in the future. Well, now we see it. So then it's clarified by the Queen of Swords, Reversed, and that says that she's suppressing feelings about a past event, which may result in involuntary emotional outbursts. At her event, her faux garden event for friendship and all that and coming together, I saw an emotional outburst when she was yelling at Mary because Mary was not being 100% truthful, which she blamed on her memory. But, you know, Mary said, I didn't say anything bad about you when she was talking to Jen Shaw. And then, of course, of course, of course, we have those Bravo editors who played that wonderful bean footage of Mary saying a few things bad about <laughs> Jen Shaw. So the outburst that Jenny had sitting at the head of that beautiful table in that beautiful garden was yelling at Mary saying, you did say something, you know, and I mean, it was a little over the top for me, which is why I, I'm calling it an emotional outburst. So it's something in her past that she needs to place behind her. All right. Now, in reference to her being prone to outburst, she admitted on the most recent episode in a confessional that she had to attend anger management classes because she broke her husband's ribs okay now i'm gonna go ahead and throw in allegedly since i don't know if i'm saying it word for word but she said that on the most recent episode that she had to attend anger management classes because she broke her husband's ribs girl what girl what Honey, girl, okay, all I want to say is to go ahead and, and take your in on to, um, as my grandma used to say, yo in, yo in, take your in on over to um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Potomac, shoot, honey, uh, I'd say uh, try, try it on uh, Beverly Hills, I think they uh, <laughs> handle you too, um, girl, what you broke your husband's ribs mr dewey dr Wynn, what's going on with you anyway um but yeah emotional outburst outburst she got him let's keep going before we keep going i have to add this she laughed after she said it like it was cute that's not cute that's not cute at all as a matter of fact honey that's called uh, i i don't want to go to youtube jail uh dv you know domestically you know what i'm saying v is in victor 
what that's not cute that is not cute it's not okay i don't care whose hands it is whether it's a woman's hands man's hands i don't or a child's hand okay nobody should be doing that and for her to speak about it so lightly and then for bravo to play it like it's cool you know anyway let me keep going because if i get caught up on this i'll never finish now this is even more interesting something in her past gave her false promises this is from my ultimate clever fires deck false promises someone is telling you that things are going to happen that ended up not happening okay once i saw that i was like oh i no longer think this has to do with her business let's keep going in the present position in the present position we have the wheel of fortune which was in reverse the present position of course is very important because some might say the most important out of this spread because this is what actually pushed them into the decision that they made and again in this case for you know jenny made the decision to join uh, salt lake city housewives wheel of fortune in the reverse which references clinging to control and unwelcome changes jenny clings to the illusion of control with the wheel in reverse the lesson is to learn to let go and release she needs to learn to move on and move forward she she found a way to, to assert herself and she used some um shoes okay very creative very creative okay so let's first acknowledge what jenny was trying to control again we as viewers didn't know but she's trying to control the narrative because she anticipates that possibly the shit might hit the fan okay so with those shoes was the perfect way to try to get in front of that now when her and lisa had a conversation I believe that it included, you know, Jenny saying, I'm worried about them finding these, my social media posts, okay? This is just, this is what I, I think. And her and Lisa cooked up the idea of this is how you can do it. We're going to turn that back on Mary and you call Mary out first. Now, Lisa may or may not have helped her cook that up. You know, maybe Jenny did it on her own. But either way, it was cooked up. It was cooked up. And I'm not saying Mary was innocent. We ain't talking about Mary, okay? I already got a reading on Mary. And if I remember, I'll attach it here. But she, I could see, even without knowing this, I could see and feel that she was going after Mary for a reason that was unknown to me. And now it's known to all of us okay but this is um a tactic that we've seen people use before you know let's go ahead and and throw this person under the bus to cover us up and that is exactly what happened so her needing control was really trying to get control over what she kind of feared would be a disaster later on so let me not get ahead of myself let's continue the clarifier guess what you guys death the clarifier was death and it's upright same message right now okay so the past is is still with her she needs to transition and she's not all right that wheel needs to turn and it's not because it was in reverse all right okay so the death card coming out twice in the reading is a very 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 strong sign of the repeated message which is let go of the past let go of the past confirms that her past is haunting her so whatever happened when she was quote unquote home okay and the reason why I say quote unquote is because home is whatever the querent feels like home is okay it's not what you think it is it's not what I think it is home is whatever the subject believes 
home to be okay so whatever happened when she was home is what needs to be released now I felt home was referring to when she grew up in Long Beach California I believe she experienced a culture shock brought on by all Americans okay now now that's that's how I feel um, but as I watched her target Mary it shows that she feels most scarred by black people point blank and period for me I went ahead and looked up some statistics because what I wanted to know was the Vietnamese ratio to the black American ratio and I was not surprised when I found it to be 0.9 which is Vietnamese they didn't even make up one percent of Long Beach population they couldn't they didn't even make up one percent okay 0.9 the black Americans made up 13 and a half which is still not a lot but it's much more okay and and that was just me nerding out a little bit but getting more of an idea of her struggle with her PTSD and leaving all of that behind and letting it go all right so she was outnumbered by all other Americans but for whatever reason um, the black Americans are the ones that she's deciding to target and let me say this I have no idea if she's targeting any other cultures or any other races I don't I just know what I seen on my TV screen okay so this is what I'm talking about I'm not even saying that you know she's nice to everybody that ain't even what I'm saying that's not what I'm saying so oh boy and the thing about it is um, in the most recent episode she did mention that she I believe she said because she didn't speak English she got picked on or or um, something of the of that nature is what she said I did not write it down and take notes um, because at this point I feel like she just needs to be fired and I'm sick of seeing her on my television screen okay so I didn't take notes on that but let's continue so um, the ultimate clarifiers deck further clarified the card says your best bet for a long vibrant future begins with home that was in reverse now okay again we have a clarifier clarifying the clarifier that specifically mentions home okay and it says your best bet is um, to begin with home you know your your happiness and vibrance starts at home so let me just add this all right I live in California and I felt that while she was growing up in Long Beach according to the interviews I've heard her say I did the math okay so according to the math she would be approximately 11 anywhere between 11 to 12 years old all right and I estimate that to be the most she's ever lived around black people and she was forced to integrate with Snoop Dogg and the Dog Pound okay she mentioned several times in interviews that they had to learn English to survive and she seems resentful of that when she talks about it and like I said the most recent episode she talked about being um, she didn't use she didn't say bullied but she said um, gosh I forgot what she said like I said I didn't take notes but um, picked on picked on she had to learn English she had to survive she had to learn English to survive so you know uh, Snoop uh, DL double G and in the dog pound they are from the LBC so just can you imagine is my purpose of bringing him up into this in case I got anybody wondering what does Snoop got to do with this I'll tell you what he got to do with this um, can you imagine you know the likes of Snoop and his dog pound and and you know her being raised around them apparently it wasn't pleasant for her especially not speaking English and having to integrate again I don't know why I feel like I have to keep saying this but I'm not making excuses for her but 
I am saying home and this tarot reading saying that she needs to release that energy and let go of it in order to move forward home that she's holding on to is that that LBC whatever you know I mean she was on TV last night talking about she broke her husband's ribs because she you know need anger management and she and she combined that with getting picked on okay so I can see clearly now the rain is gone we can all see yeah you got issues girl I didn't know you had this many issues but we I knew you had some issues and I knew it was with black folks let's continue so emotional stability domestic harmony she hopes to reach true emotional fulfillment by sharing herself with others now one thing I'm gonna say right now she I don't think this is what she hopes for the best I don't think she's gonna be able to to get that by I can see her trying to share herself with others by you know because even in, in an interview I think she says um, she wanted to make new friends or something like that she met Lisa through the school and wanted to make new friends okay but we can admit this is a huge step that the average person doesn't well for one they don't have the opportunity but they don't leap this far to make new friends we don't go on a show to make new friends so in that interview I felt like she was full of ish full of book cocky okay She's deceitful regarding how she came on the show. She invested time and energy for her position on the show. She expects that hard work to be paid off. Okay. I do not believe meeting Lisa Barlow and becoming friends and getting on the show was all by accident. She, Her story is that their son's went to the same school and that's how she met her and then voila she's just on the show on uh, Jenny's part it was intentional I truly feel like it's intentional I I she admitted to being a fan of the show and it's not to say you can't be a fan and then become possibly a housewife but she is so such a calculating and manipulative person that every single word she says and the things that she does, they are measured actions, okay? They're done on purpose for a reason later on. She's not as good at it as she thinks. However, it doesn't stop her from trying. Okay, and the clarifier for the best is King of swords in reverse so when it's upright this card and I was told I, I feel like I need to tell you guys what it means upright because she feels like she's harnessing this energy upright this is how she is pulling the energy in in the upright position of it so intellectual power clear thinking truth and authority this king understands that power holds great responsibility now let's go back to authority because authority is tied into control i just wanted to let you guys know there's a connection there she needs to be in a control she needs to have authority you know i guess in her immediate surroundings or whatever um so that's what it means upright and it has been blocked so further clarified by the ultimate clarifiers deck uh, money and career elevate now that too was in reverse this card applies pressure to the querent regarding any idea they've been hesitant to act upon and it also highlights that their hard work and the energy that they've invested in will be rewarded soon okay so duly note that because that's going to come up in a card later you know the work that she's putting in and the reward the payoff you know that that sort of thing so I am feeling like the idea she was hesitant to act upon 
was signing up to be a housewife the reason is because she wondered if her racism would be seen on national television or if she could control that that's what was really trying that's what she was really trying hard to control along with the narrative of course <clears throat> what hard work did she wonder if she would be rewarded for not showing racism? And why was she wondering how it was going to play out anyway? Maybe because she knew she was racially insensitive and she was hoping that we, the viewers, didn't. She was hoping that we didn't see it. She, you know what they're showing me? Spirit is showing me a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay go figure well she running around here breaking her husband's ribs and shit what kind of i i have never okay let's talk about this i have never i have never i have never heard of a woman breaking her husband's ribs and i most most certainly has have not seen a housewife talk about it like that with some glee and giggle glee and giggle what in the world breaking somebody's ribs not I, you know what i ain't trying to sound funny but i've heard of people eating ribs i ain't heard of people breaking ribs not your husband what in the world uh-uh uh-uh that's just crazy win miss win and mr win what the hell again what the hell is going on with you you letting your wife run around here and break your ribs so let me tell y'all something too this is a little bit of tea okay i might insert this right here and i might not but um, I was watching something and supposedly, allegedly, her niece, Jenny Wynn's niece, came out and was talking about them and had said that, you know, that whole little storyline about having one another baby and having another sister wife and all that was fake for them to get on TV and that she had threatened to sue um, them if they said anything, them being the family, her parents. Anyway, I'm going to make reference to that somewhere in here, but... I believe it was fake because if Jenny Wynn broke Mr. Wynn's ribs and tried to sell him and, and Dave Dave's famous ribs rib check, he ain't running around there um talking about more wives and, and doing stuff to them and mow this and mow that, baby. If his ribs was broke and put on a rack, uh-uh. No, he, no, he not. I don't believe it. I, I believe her niece, allegedly and whatnot. Let's continue. Mm-mm. That's crazy as crazy can be. Crazy as all outdoors. Now, right here, Sages, this is where I kindly and humbly ask you guys to please click like and subscribe for just to show me a little appreciation for all my hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, okay, going into all of this because my back and my neck, all right, um, I think I've been sitting up and I got stiff so it is hurting y'all just to let y'all know but I'm doing this for y'all for my sages so please click like and subscribe if you haven't done that already all right that will show me that you appreciate what I'm doing all right thank you so much now let's look at what the worst is the worst is represented by two of wands this position means what she imagines what she sees as the worst possible outcome for the decision to what join the salt to the lake to the city it represents how she feels would be the worst and that is leaving comfort taking risk Jenny has to progress from just having the plan to actually stepping out of her cocoon. This means actually leaving her comfort zones and exploring new territory. I think this is tied back to her feeling like the best is to step out there and make new friends. But you know, all that was reversed and everything. <laughs> that was reversed. But that's what she thinks she's about to do but it was reversed she's blocked and the worst is for like she has a fear of exploring new territory but yet she's saying she wants new friends so you know they're fighting each other and i think the fear is winning because the cards were reversed they were blocked all right let's keep going 
And here's the thing. Her wanting new friends. I, I don't know if that's true. But what I do believe is very true. Is that the fear is coming from whether or not she can control her innate racism. Okay? Her fear is whether or not we as the viewers would be able to see that she's going to be cool with just about everybody else except Mary. I believe that's the fear because all throughout this message, when I did it, I was getting the fear, the fear, the fear, fear, fear was very strong along with a couple of, a couple of other things that I talk about, but fear was, was right there with them. And I'm like, what is she afraid of? Afraid of us seeing the real her. And you know, what's crazy is because I'm sure she's not the only person, the only housewife, the only reality star that we know that may have a fear of us seeing quote unquote, the real them however hers is absolutely devastating to a black american such as myself i mean i truth be told i never liked it in the first place okay so i ain't that i ain't that devil what i'm devil about is the fact that and yes i said devil honey took me uh two years to understand what it meant and how to use it but I just did okay um my my original sages will know why that's funny honey I don't know slang but that's one word that I got anyway moving right along fear her fear is that we the viewers would know the real her that she does not like black people okay specifically and fear can be paralyzing so she wasn't when she you know she was on the phone apparently spoke to somebody meredith even said it that you know she told her that that wasn't the right time to do it this that and the other da, 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 da. and meredith said in her confessional that apparently she spoke to someone else who convinced her otherwise we all know that was lisa barlow because mary asked her who and she said lisa and so <laughs> she took that opportunity that that shula la moment i called it anyway let's continue so check this all the way out okay the worst is clarified by page of swords page of swords reversed reverse can mean she will soon receive bad news that will derail her plans furthermore her silver tongue might cause trouble in the near future now that silver tongue baby her silver tongue when it says that it'll get her in trouble in the near future well uh, whoop here it is what whoop here it is whoop here it is okay so the official definition of the term so silver tongue is able to speak in a way that makes other people do or believe what you want them to do or believe. This bodes well for my suspicion that this fan meeting Lisa Barlow and getting on the show was no accident. It was planned by Jenny. It was planned by Jenny. Secondly, this is evidenced by her taking the opportunity to label Mary Cosby as racially insensitive. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what was worrisome for me when I further clarified that with the Ultimate Clarifiers deck, father figure card came out upright. This is something related to her father. Okay. Which ties us back to family. All right. I think there's some unresolved issues with the family. And the previous card said she needed to make amends with that. In relation to her father figure, I believe that this person is directly related to her silver tongue. Because that was the clarifier that clarified that father figure is what came up. So, which also is tied to her issues with home. Okay? Which 
all together is tied to the answer to my question, which was, why did she decide to become a Salt Lake City housewife? Okay, so this whole reading, you know, I just want you guys to recall, this is the answer to that question. And this is what she sees as worst. Like everything seems to be tied into her home, what she sees as home, her parents, her raising and, um, and breaking Mr. Wynn's ribs. What's to come? What's to come is represented by the star card which is a beautiful card especially when it's upright this one was what reversed it was reversed okay she got some good cards but they reversed she i believe she with the ratio she had more reversed than upright which is not surprising this woman is blocked her energy is like blocked and which what concerns me with with all of these reversals is that she doesn't see them as reversals in her mind these cards the energy behind the cards are showing up up right in her mind she's not understanding or relating to the reality that her energy is blocked i believe it's blocked because of fear okay um so that is what becomes worrisome when someone because that'll make you delusional so like i said what's evidenced today with the problem with having great cards that are reversed but yet being in an energy of feeling like they are upright you know because throughout this this reading i was feeling like these cards that are reversed she believes that they're that she's harnessing the energy in the upright manner of the cards but not understanding and realizing that subconsciously they're blocked that may be her natural energy it could be energy she's been trying to manifest because what it means is that energy is present okay all these wonderful cards that are in reverse the energy is actually present but the energy is blocked what's blocking them is her fear okay and when i say that the the biggest thing that i worry about when people have this type of energy come in this way and they're all blocked block block blocked blickety block blocked is that it creates delusions i believe we've seen the delusion because she went on this show and pretended as though she didn't have ten thousand, you know uh racial posts that's delusional that's delusion right there continuing so loss of hope faith or courage that's what this card means reversed and this is for what's to come the challenges that used to excite her will instead make her feel as though she cannot overcome them she lost faith in something whether inside herself or with something she holds dear so when the cards say that she lost hope for something that she used to be excited about I think we all can surmise that to be her place on the show as it stands now, which is why this is in the placement of what's to come. This reading actually was done three weeks ago. And when I say done, I mean I meditated and went through the process of the cards then after that comes the you know putting the um video together okay which takes me about a week so and the video was published 10 days ago so this what's to come was already in place three weeks ago and really technically already in place when she took her place on our television screen okay but I'm just giving you guys a timeline because I'm getting ready to talk about the what's the composition and how powerful it is um, so the wonderful thing about the what's the composition is that it has two possible directions but both of them point to the future it always refers to what's to come however sometimes it's what the querent believes is to come other times it will simply be what is coming unbeknownst to them okay 
So the querent, by the way, is the person that the reading is being done on or for. And uh, this one, you know, it already saw that she was not going to be excited about something that she used to be excited about. Mm-hmm. Continuing. The Empress, reverse, is a clarifier. She's feeling a creative block, especially in birthing a new idea or expressing herself creative creatively for a storyline. A storyline. What? Storyline. What? Okay. She's worried whether it will be a success or if her work is appealing to others. So this one this what's to come is one that was unbeknownst okay fear blocked jenny's energy although jenny oftentimes carried a fear of her media post being dug up she thought she sealed the deal when she painted mary that way because how can mary be a cast member who committed you know those same the same offense so so she thought so she thought but fear blocked her so much to where she couldn't see where she couldn't see the reality which is the problem which is why i said when people have energy like this they become what delusional delusional delusions they suffer from delusions um because here we go with the ultimate clarifiers that clarifying saying to aging brilliantly this card was in reverse this card says your patience has paid off or it will pay off soon but it's in reverse and it talks about the patience of um in this case your job your hard work it talks about hard work the hard work you've done you're going to be paid off soon for it it's in reverse this is what's to come so this is something that she is worrying about okay um so aging brilliantly clarifier tells us as more time went by, the more she felt she would be able to pull the that was a long time ago card. However, it was in reverse, which meant it was not going to work out. And it didn't. It didn't work out well for her at all. I believe she tried to pull that card. I believe Andy also tried to pull that card when he said years ago to Lisa Barlow on the Watch What Happens Live. He asked her how did she feel about the um the the text messages that she posted years ago. Mm -mm, it wasn't years ago. It wasn't years ago. Anyway, um it didn't work out well. But you know she thought it would age brilliantly. But that card was in reverse. Okay. I mean cards in reverse 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 this is what it looks like to be delusional to have good cards but they're in reverse and you don't know it that's how delusion shows up sometimes in tarot here we are at the clarifier for the energy influence and it represents <laughs> lost opportunity and loss of foresight I think we, you know, we know what that is. I've said it over and over and over throughout the first time I did a reading on her and also this time. She, her energy is, she's trying not to lose this opportunity. She sees this as an opportunity and it is, we know it is, okay. And she's trying to, her energy is that she's trying to save it and, and, trying to not make it a lost opportunity okay however however she lost foresight she has no foresight she has none okay she's delusional i already explained that she's delusional all right let's move on because i still have a, a little bit more to break down so let's keep going this one is kind of self-explanatory um and then that Let's clarify further by hang up the phone. It could mean that someone needs to unplug from all electronics and get in touch with real life. If you cannot imagine being without your phone for a day or two, then there is a problem. Okay, so the hang up the phone. So the hang up the phone actually has numerous, numerous possible meanings to it. 
Hang up the phone is one of my social media cards, okay? And that also is self-explanatory. Social media. Let's continue. Now, when it comes to Jenny Wynn and Miss Mary Cosby, I asked Tarot the question of, you know, is Jenny targeting Mary? This card came out. What do you need to release? All right, you guys. So we are at another card that, you know, is self explanatory it's self-explanatory you know um and let me tell you something it, it's saying what does i was asking what does she need to release she needs to release all of her emotional baggage and with the she needs to apologize to someone we know who that is that be us okay all americans but most importantly mary because she did target Mary, for sure, she did. <clears throat> now, I'm going to tell you someone who did do the releasing, and that is the Bravo TV Network. I just now found out that they released her from her duties. Okay, what did um Shawnee say to uh, homegirl on Basketball Wives? You're, you're, you are no longer needed. Thank you. You are no longer needed. Anyway, they, they just released her. So I am very happy about that because it was ridiculous how long they took to say anything. It was just absolutely ridiculous. So, all right, you guys, that would be the end. Up next, I have a surprise for you guys. And, um, actually... It's going to be, you know what? I'll make you wait, okay? But it is coming up next. See you there. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Bye.